it's hard to come up with like new things every year to say about Patrick Mahomes winning the AFC and then going to the Super Bowl. And again, I mean, this is this again, 30 of 39 throwing the football 241. 100 passer rating, 77% completion rate. By a ton of metrics, Baltimore is one of the best teams ever. And yet the Chiefs take them down on the back of largely, I think, their their defense. Look at the release. There's your separation. Great route. Stutter and go. Gets by clean. That is unbelievable. May be the greatest catch I've ever seen. Matt, I don't know about you, bro, but... I know that the Chiefs didn't score a ton of points, but mm -hmm. I just thought Patrick Mahomes played brilliantly against what is arguably the league's best defense. Yeah, obviously they didn't go off. Um, one of my most confident bets about this game was actually that it was going to go under the total because um, this is two of the this is a matchup of two of the best defenses in the NFL, Correct. particularly Baltimore. Which you know, at one point it looked like, and and this is. This is the mark, I think, of a great game. And I, I wish Baltimore had pushed back a little bit more in the second half to really, I think, make this like an all-time classic because I ended up be feeling really let down by Baltimore's offensive performance in general. But like usually the mark of a great game is, hey, at one point, like I thought we were going to get a quarterback duel out of this thing because Mahomes was brilliant in like <laughs> the first quarter and right. um, Lamar had the long touchdown to Zay Flowers. You know, he had the throw that he threw to himself. <laughs> um, there were, there were some amazing. like, that was, that was crazy. Incredible. Um, oh, man. and then really like Zay flowers kind of ends up with the egg on his face in the, in the second half because Oof. of, um, Oof. a couple of, uh, a couple of really tough moments there for him. Yeah. Th there were times in this game where it felt like we were going to get a great quarterback duel, but ultimately these are two of the best defenses in the league. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just jumping right into the Chiefs stuff, man, look, I, it's hard to come up with like new things every year to say about Patrick Mahomes, you know, going to <laughs> the <laughs> going to right. the AFC, like winning the right. AFC and then going to the Super Bowl. And again. I mean, this is this again, this is four yeah. Super Bowls now in six uh, seasons. Crazy. It's it's insane. It oh. it really is That's it's insane. unprecedented, right? I mean, even the early career Brady uh Patriots, I think the the crazy part about Mahomes specifically in this is that like, yeah, Brady obviously was going to Super Bowls, winning Super Bowls early in his career, won back-to-back -back Super Bowls, the whole thing. Um, but, like, he wasn't always the driving force of this team. And, and no. even still, yeah. like, this is Mahomes' team. And, and I'm kind of getting annoyed at the whole, this is the worst t Chiefs team that we've seen go to the Super Bowl. I mean, I don't know if it's the worst team that we've seen. It's just very different. The career arc of Steve Spagnuolo, who was actually the coordinator of the Giants when they took down another yeah. in terms of like weighted DVOA all time right. teams. Like that's the great, that's the thing about this win over Baltimore by a ton of metrics. Baltimore is one of the best teams ever, like mm -hmm. offensive, defensive, special teams wise, like all of it, they grade right. so, so, so highly. Um, like I said, they're comparable to that 2007 Patriots team from a, from a DVOA perspective. And yet the Chiefs take them down on the back of largely, I think, their their defense, which shut down this offense. And I think, again, we we look back on the season. We remember the off the offensive miscues, the the wide receiver woes, um, mm -hmm. you know, Rasheed Rice's slow development into being a guy that you can count on. But really what's been kind of there from week one till now is this has been a defense that can take over games and I think has been coordinated well, has um, like – Drop Steve Spagnuolo always drops these heaters of individual, like personalized game plans against these right. great offenses. And this was just another uh, chapter in that longstanding story for him. When I take a look at, at you know, what, um, at Patrick, what Patrick Mahomes did 30 of 39, throwing the football 241, 100 passer rating, 77% completion rate. And man, I just look at that completion rate, Matt, and I think, I think to myself, Goodness gracious, 77% uh, completion rate against this defense with these wide receivers. Come on, man. Get the hell out of here. What is this guy doing? 11 for 11 throwing to Travis Kelsey. The rumors of his demise were, were greatly exaggerated. Kelsey played an absolute whale of a game. Yeah, Kelsey, who's been on a tear in the playoffs despite tear. averaging 29 yards per game in the last three regular season games. Like, there's a lot of things that we just, especially when we're doing like next season fantasy analysis, we always just look back at regular season numbers and don't remember the, unless it's like Gabe Davis scoring four touchdowns in a yeah, playoff yeah, game. Yeah, 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 we yeah, never yeah, talk yeah. about this stuff, but this is like one of those instances where, hey, we should, 
if Kelsey doesn't retire with his brother at the end of the season or run off into right. the sunset with Taylor Swift, like this is one of those <laughs> things that um, we should remember next season uh-huh. that he had this dynamic playoff run. And I do kind of think that like, I think the chiefs are already at that point too, where like the regular season just matters a lot less. Um, like, what are we going to do James? If in September and October next year, um, they add nobody to this receiver room oh. and it's like, and maybe Rasheed Rice has taken no. a, 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 maybe he hasn't taken a step, right? He's still a really, really good player, but he's not like a true alpha one or whatever yeah. you want to say. And it's like, they've brought MVS back and they're, they, they've replaced McCole Hardman and Kadarius Tony with like another goof, goofy little, uh, oh my God. gadget receiver no. or whatever. Oh my God, <laughs> and no. we're sitting here in October, September next year and we're like, Oh man, this Chiefs offense. What are we doing? And they like, well, yeah, then they'll just be back in the Super Bowl when the games really start. That's when the things will really get going for them. But that's kind of where they're at, though. Like as a team yeah. build, you know. Well, let me just say this. I think I've seen enough sports to say that I don't think they can do what they did this year again. I really don't. Um, uh, you know, again, just from a talent standpoint, I, I get it. Defensively, they were great, uh, but offensively, just how much more can you ask Superman to do? You know, I just think it it's exhausting probably trying to get through a season like this if you're Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. I personally don't think they could do it again um, yeah. if they bring back this offensive roster. They need to get, you know, a, a reliable X receiver, um, obviously from what we have seen in regards to Kadarius Toney. Uh, those rumors that, you know, he was, he was trashing the team and, you know, obviously didn't play in this game for, for personal oh, he, reasons. Rumors. All, he was on in, yeah, Instagram yeah, he, live Instagram. saying it. I mean, <laughs> good Lord. What a, what I, a, I just what a say player. rumors because it was on his live, but we didn't quite see him. I don't know. Anyways, there's some room. There's like a 1% room for that to not be Kadarius Tony, but 99% sure. Yeah. It's Kadarius. Tony. Anyways, he's not with the team next year, regardless. Even if it wasn't him, he's not with the team next year, for God's sakes, you know? Uh, he was so bad. Uh, okay, so, so yeah, I just, for me, I just feel like, you know, Kansas City can't possibly do this again next year. And who knows, Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes might prove me wrong uh, yet again.